Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Marvel's Rivals uh, video. This time, I'm bringing to you a character breakdown of Loki. So, instead of me just explaining who Loki is, honestly, let's just get right into it. I am Loki. It's time for magic and mischief. Time to vanish. By the eye of the more the merrier. <laughs> I'm everywhere. I'm gone. I still need you. Your powers are mine. The king of Asgard at your service. I'm not going to lie. That looked pretty sick. I'm super impressed. I, honestly, first things first, just by looking at him, he looks at honestly. I love this art style of Loki. It's so nice. And he's a trickster. He's a strategist. I love what I see of that so far. So let's get right into the gameplay. So right now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five abilities. Basically, you got the ultimate. You got the alternate fire. You got the main. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think you got the main... Sorry, actually, you have six abilities. So you got the main fire of left click. You have the alternate fire. You have the shift, which is pretty much the TP. F, I can't tell in particular what F is right now. E, I don't know yet. <laughs> so let's get right into the gameplay first. So let's see. So basically, just off the bat, that right there is just the basic. So you can just tell it went from eight to seven. Six, okay. So basically, just shooting your blast out of your staff is basically your basic weapon. Makes sense, pretty easy. So I believe he just hit... Which ability right there? He just hit the alt. Did he just hit the alt ability? Yeah, I think he just hit the alt ability. Where you can place out a decoy for your character. So you can place a decoy of your self, kind of like Mirage from Apex. And then you have the ability to alternate between the two, but you don't have to. Which is actually pretty nice. So that provides maybe kind of like an additional person support. I wonder if the alternate uh, Loki deals just as much damage as the main one. I, I'll be curious how that would be uh, when I test it. Also, Loki has 250 health, it looks like it. So he looks like he might be pretty squishy. Uh, yeah, I would say he's an attacker, so most likely he's a pretty squishy character. Uh, looks like his E is on cooldown right now. Um, okay, so just to be clear, okay, I think I know what's going on. So his right alternate fire shoots out the decoy. You press F if you want to switch to the decoy itself. Makes sense. Kind of a um, a Reaper ability, kind of like that, where you can dish out a version. Well, not kind of like, or an Omen ability, but where you go forward with your clone, kind of uh, your uh, um, spot where you uh, pick. But this case, you have the ability to switch or not. So kind of like a... Um, and how do I, how would I describe it? A omen ability from Valorant mixture with a Yoru, um, uh, teleporter. Okay. So both outlines would be there pretty much. And you just have the ability to switch if you want to. Okay. And it looks like the E ability is on cooldown right now. So recap right now their left trigger is basically to shoot out the staff the right is to launch out a duplicate clone of you f is to switch with the clone probably to give yourself some distance it looked like he just hit shift there Oh, actually, and then hitting shift might launch out another uh, character. 
I'm not sure. Maybe I actually got it all wrong. Perhaps. So it looks like, okay, so basic Loki. Launching. He just launched out a... He just launched out an ability. He just, okay, so he just launched one. Oh, so actually it's shift to add a duplicate Loki. Sorry, scratch that. Then what's the alternate fire? Or maybe the alternate is where you dish out another Loki that can actually fire. So maybe the additional Loki is where you have two Lokis that can deal damage. I shift to throw out a fake Loki. Okay, I think that's what's going on. And once you once it's destroyed, I believe it goes on cooldown. It looks like a 24 second cooldown, which is pretty big. And then I believe this is his ultimate where he can have the ability kind of like, uh, is it Sonata or Sinatra or something like that from Overwatch 2, where she can turn into any character on the battlefield. And I think you have to choose. I don't know how it works, but maybe the closest one next to you. Yep. And that's it. So just to recap, so it looks like, okay, so basically main trigger. Does he hit left click right here? No, he, he hits the alternate fire right here. So the alternate fire is you dish out a, a Loki that can um, fire as well. However, then you temporarily disappear. The more the merrier. Then E is to launch out another low key. <clears throat> so E is to launch out a low key that you can swap between. Okay. And then shift is to launch out just a fake clone that does not do anything. So you get the, I believe the Alternate fire Loki to the left of you. Okay. Then he throws out the shift Loki right there. Yeah, perfect. I think that's it pretty much for the breakdown. Honestly, this looks pretty good. And honestly, I like detail. It's basically, it, you know what it gives me? It gives me kind of like a Mirage from Apex meeting uh, Yoru from Valorant. Kind of where you have the ability to throw out decoys of yourself. However, you have the ability to swap between the two, which is a very nice feature, which is sick as hell, for uh, potentially for a lot of big outplay. The question is, how much does Loki deal damage? There's no, there's no DPS numbers, unfortunately, so I don't know. However... There could be additional uh, a, a passive abilities that I don't know yet. And I believe the 250 here is the health of the f of the alternate fire uh, Loki. When I say alternate fire, that just means the right tr or the right click of your mouse. FYI, for the people who don't know. But I think that's pretty much it. If I miss anything, I don't think I have. So basically, just a recap. Uh, you got the basic, shoots out basic missiles. You got 250 health. Then you got 250 health for your um kind of like your alternate fire uh Loki that can also deal damage. You got a kind of like a standing cell mirage clone of yourself from Apex. Uh that you can do for shift. You can do E, where a Loki you can teleport between the two with E and F. And then you got it all where you can copy somebody's ability. Uh, now I just want to make sure. Does the uh does this Loki also fire as well? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. I just I I wish there was any display numbers on damage wise, but honestly, it looks pretty good. Honestly, Loki seems like a very good character. Uh, has a very high potential for some outplays. Um, however, I can't really make it a former opinion right now of what his kit will look like in the grand scheme of things. However, uh, just based on early looks, <laughs> he is the strong, as far as I know, he is the strongest character in the game. <laughs> just based on every character I've reviewed so far. But um, 
hopefully that yeah that's pretty much it everybody hopefully everybody had a fun time breaking down the uh character uh reveal trailer with me i am super excited honestly i am so down to play loki first honestly um he looks like a very strong attacker maybe uh i'm pretty sure he's an attacker or is he support i have to look at uh uh character roster leak marvel rivals i'm pretty sure uh there's something okay so it's probably that yeah most likely so everybody have a wonderful time tonight hopefully we'll see you soon click the other video of me doing my wish list I'm super excited for this game. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I am super excited to build my channel around this as well as Overwatch as soon as as, as well as Valorant. Like I know I'm a very young content creator when it comes to actually making content on this channel. But honestly, I'm close to getting 50 subscribers based on honestly not asking any of my friends to actually come subscribe. Honestly, this has been a blast con making content for just the online. Obviously, there are so many nicks and crannies that I have to adjust my stuff towards. I am still new at this game. However, I cannot wait for the future of this channel. And don't be afraid to comment, uh, comment down below and tell me things I can approve on. I'm super excited for the future of my channel. And I can't wait to honestly just play, play, <laughs> just play games, guys. Like gaming is a f passion. And I can't wait for, uh, but to see what the future holds with me, okay? So peace out, everybody. Have a good night.